Hello Dominica, I'm Vanessa Bruno with the Kyrie TV News. Let's take a look at the big stories making the headlines. The Dominica National Council of Women challenges authorities to treat violence against women as an urgent issue. Roseau Central MP calls for a spirit of unity and community for Mass Alawi 2023. And new parliamentarians briefed on House of Assembly proceedings. Stay tuned for the details of these stories and more after the break. Are you looking for that perfect setup for your conference, seminar, or company function? Or maybe you need a low-budget setup for your party, dinner, or private gathering? How about that professional production for your grand concert, festival, or outdoor event? Kyrie Sounds is here to provide you with everything you need. PA system, stage, lighting, microphones, tents, LED digital screens, generators, projectors, crowd barriers, and more. We also offer free events event consultation to ensure the success of your special event. Call us today at 612-4050. Kyrie Sounds, your partner in sound, stage and lighting services. Welcome back. Leading the news, the Dominica National Council of Women have added their voice to the condemnation of violence against women in Dominica. This as police investigate the violent deaths of two women at the hands of their partners in Dominica. Women's advocate Josephine Dublin Prince says these senseless acts are becoming a nuisance and calls on authorities to treat these matters as an urgent issue within society. To us, it is becoming almost a serious, serious nuisance for lives of women to be lost brutally within the domestic sphere. It calls for urgent action from all spheres of society, from various institutions, from various stakeholders within the community, within families, the church and other institutions. The police would definitely need to put this issue of domestic violence as an urgent matter on the front burner. To us, this has been continuing for too long. Dublin Prince calls for a multi-sectoral approach for this issue to ensure adequate legislation is arranged and enforced. There is a need for a multi-sectoral approach to this problem because it cuts across our families, our community, and by extension, our country. When we have women being abused, being killed brutally, women with children leaving behind, young children leaving behind, hurting families on both sides, with that of the perpetrator and the victim, we need to continue to treat this issue as a very, very, very important issue for discussion and and ensuring that the various laws, the various regulations are given the level of enforcement that is needed. So therefore, it's again a call for all of us citizens to ensure that we look out for the signs of families that are hurting, families who cannot manage this level of discord between the parties within the household, and therefore intervene to assist in what way we can as much as possible, so that it does not arrive at a point of brutal murder. Meantime, Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt also calls for a societal approach to this matter while urging victims of domestic violence to come forward and seek help before it is too late. On the matter of domestic violence, this requires a more fundamental approach, which is a priority for us as a society and a people. Legislation and enforcement are critical parts of this, but ultimately it is in the community and in the family that the solution lies. We will seek to engage a number of stakeholders across the communities before unveiling additional avenues and safety measures for those who are most vulnerable. We all have to condemn all acts of violence, especially domestic violence, we all. And we, as a society, this is gonna to have to be a societal response we can't only look to the police and the government to solve this. All of us must play our part. And so, my dear citizens, in regards to domestic violence, we also want to urge victims to reach out for help before it gets too late. 
In other top stories, new parliamentarians have been briefed in parliamentary procedures at a one-day workshop sponsored by the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, the CPA. The workshop focused on an overview of Parliament and its role in the governance of the country, facilitated by the Honorable Levi A. Peter, Attorney General, Standing orders of the House of Assembly in relation to rulings from the Speaker and the privileges and power of the members with the Honorable Alex Boyd Knight, Speaker Emeritus, and passed to Speaker of the House of Assembly. The workshop will also cover equipping participants with various debating styles and techniques to be able to express their ideas clearly in speech. Addressing the opening ceremony on Wednesday, Minister for Health Kasani Laville, himself a newly elected minister, reminded participants that being chosen to be parliamentarians comes with a tremendous responsibility. With being elected, with being chosen and selected to be parliamentarians comes tremendous responsibility. And we intend to take this responsibility very, very seriously. We have a lot of work to do. And we are committed to the task. And we ought to be committed to the task. And we ought to be prepared. And this is why today, on behalf of the Prime Minister, I must say thank you to the Commonwealth Parliamentary uh, Association for organizing this workshop to allow for this most important training. With the most important business of the land um, being charged as our responsibility, we must be prepared, and we can't treat the most important business of this land as casual at all. Mr. Laville reiterated that having witnessed the holding of a free and fair elections in Dominica highlights the maturity of the electorate, which places heavily on the elected parliamentarians the great responsibility which it brings as the nation faces very challenging times. The burden of responsibility for us is tremendous. And we must be serious. We live in a time, in a time in our life, where probably it may be the most difficult in our recent history, most challenging health-wise, most challenges in terms of uh, the economy. And we need to think differently in the ways or posture in which we address and approach these difficulties. We must approach these challenges with innovation. We must embrace new thinking. We must adopt a new posture. And hence the reason why the Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt, has announced a reset. And it is a reset that we must take seriously. We must embody that. We must espouse it in our thoughts, in our thinking, in our attitude, in our dispensation. Mr. Laville made his presentation speaking on behalf of the Honorable Prime Minister, Roosevelt Skerritt. In other developments, the Dominica Bar Association welcomes among them the newest and one of the youngest members to be admitted to the bar. I, Jason Lawrence, make off and say that I will diligently demean myself in the performance of my duties as solicitor of the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court, Dominica Circuit, to the best of my knowledge. So help me go on. My name is Jason A.C. Lawrence. And I stand before this court immensely grateful that your worship has accepted my application to be admitted to the bar today. Jason Lawrence was recently admitted to the bar as barrister and solicitor after satisfying the criteria set out in Section 70 of the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court Dominica Act. Presenting the petition for his admittance before the court, Barrister Tamika Burton described Mr. Lawrence as an astute student, earning his Bachelor of Law degree with upper second-class honours from the UE Caville campus. Mr. Lawrence is a people's person. He's energetic and full of life. Through his tenure at the Chambers of the Attorney General, he has proven to bring fresh life into our chambers. He is hardworking, intelligent and personable. No task is too daunting for Mr. Lawrence. I have no doubt that he will be an excellent barrister and solicitor and be an asset to the Dominica Bar. With these words, few words, my lord, or less than anything further, this is my application. Jason Lawrence comes from a family of learned lawyers, among them his father, Lennox Lawrence, and uncle, Alec Lawrence, who spoke in support of the application for Lawrence's admission to the Dominica Bar. Frankly, it is a life that demands determination, dedication, and diligence. And it cannot be otherwise. Every day the lawyer has in his hands 
responsibility for the property, livelihood, liberty, and sometimes even the life of his client. Legal representation on such matters cannot be done in half measure. You have to give it your all. And you must do so even if, on the personal level, you may consider the conduct of your client to be disagreeable, odious, or even reprehensible. My second comment, my Lord, is that the practice of law demands high ethical standards and behavior. It is not for nothing that the legal profession is called the honorable profession. Jason Lawrence also enrolled at the Hugh Wooding Law School from 2020 to 2022, obtaining a legal certificate of education online. This is the Kairi TV News. Stay tuned for more after this break. Are you looking for that perfect setup for your conference, seminar, or company function? Or maybe you need a low-budget setup for your party, dinner, or private gathering. How about that professional production for your grand concert, festival, or outdoor event? Kyrie Sounds is here to provide you with everything you need. PA system, stage, lighting, microphones, tents, LED digital screens, generators, projectors, crowd barriers, and more. We also offer free event consultation to ensure the success of your special event. Call us today at 612-4050. Kyrie Sounds, your partner in sound, stage and lighting services. Welcome back. CTO of Tourism applauds efforts at making Dominica a premier ecotourism destination. Linda Martin has that story. Chief Technical Officer in the Ministry of Tourism, Rosalia Lawrence, made the remarks when welcoming the captain and crew of Costa Fascinosa. The ship made its inaugural call to Dominica last week, and Lawrence says recognizing the importance of the cruise industry worldwide, government and other stakeholders have stepped up efforts at making Dominica a premier destination. She says this is especially important since the island is being recognized more and more as an eco-tourism destination. The Ministry of Tourism, in collaboration with other key stakeholders, recognizes the growing importance of the cruise industry on a global scale and also acknowledges and benefits which can be derived from this industry. Considering this, Con commendable efforts have been made by all parties to ensure that visitors have a rewarding and unique experience. The ability to provide that desired experience can encourage guests to keep returning, which in turn attracts new customers and creates a favorable reputation. Lawrence says the arrival of first-time cruise vessels to the island is a testament to the confidence placed by the international cruise industry in the tourism products being offered by Dominica. The CTO noted that in a region with several competitive destinations, this is a significant accomplishment for the island's cruise industry. Passengers who visit Dominica are potential return tourists and we recognize the need to ensure that their experience is both memorable and of a high quality. We also recognize that they are Dominica's most important marketers who will encourage others to visit Dominica as a result of their positive experience. The government of Dominica will continue to make sustainable developments to meet the demands of this industry as we strive to leave a positive impression on our visitors. As of December 31st, 2022, Dominica has received a total of 63 cruise calls. Together, the ships brought in almost 69,680 cruise passengers with 52,098 of them disembarking and 27,129 engaging in organized tours. A total of 196 calls are expected for this cruise season, with the projection of bringing in approximately 314,000 passengers. Linda Martin for Kyrie TV News. And a parliamentary representative for the Roseau Central constituency, Melissa popon Skerritt, is calling for a spirit of unity and community as the country celebrates Mass Alawi for 2023. Here's Nathaniel Durand with more. 
The Rosso MP called on Dominicans to work together to grow and improve the standard of carnival celebrations as a means of protecting and defending this tourism product. She says with the support of sponsors and patrons, we can all participate to make the season a triumph. Dominicans love the carnival and Dominicans will come together to create a fun and safe atmosphere for our festivities this year. And so I urge you, let the spirit of family continue to flow from the Christmas season, demonstrating the character of a Dominican built on spirit, on the spirit of unity and community. Let us Dominicans continue to work together to grow our carnival from year to year. And let us continue to defend and protect our country's tourism products. It takes all of us to make this a success. Pop on Scarit encouraged all to build on the success of the recent World Creole Music Festival 2022, using all social media platforms to promote far and wide what is coming to be known as one of the, if not the most, spontaneous original carnival in the world. Let us show the world that Dominica's carnival is all what they have heard about. It is original, it is dynamic, and it is real. Let them feel the energy, the rhythm, and the vibe of the real mass. Be part of revelry. Be captivated by the kaleidoscope of colors. Become hypnotized by the pageantry, the bouillon, our calypso music, the traditional and the old mass experience. Be part of Mass A La Oui. Parliamentary representative for the Rosa Central constituency, Melissa Popon Skerritt, was speaking at the official opening of Carnival 2023 over the weekend. Nathaniel Durand, Kyrie TV News. You're watching the Kyrie TV News. Stay tuned for a recap of the headlines right after this. Are you looking for that perfect setup for your conference, seminar, or company function? Or maybe you need a low-budget setup for your party, dinner, or private gathering. How about that professional production for your grand concert, festival, or outdoor event? Kyrie Sounds is here to provide you with everything you need. PA system, stage, lighting, microphones, tents, LED digital screens, generators, projectors, crowd barriers, and more. We also offer free events event consultation to ensure the success of your special event. Call us today at 612-4050. Kyrie Sounds, your partner in sound, stage and lighting services. To end the news, the headlines once again. The Dominica National Council of Women challenges authorities to treat violence against women as an urgent issue. Rosal Central MP calls for a spirit of unity and community for Mass Alawi 2023. And new parliamentarians briefed on House of Assembly proceedings. Tune in to 107.9, 93.1, 91.1 1 and 88.7 FM Monday to Friday for our radio newscasts at 6.30 a.m., 1 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. Watch our TV newscasts on Kyrie TV on Flow Channel 953 Monday to Friday at 8 p.m. with repeats at 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Kyrie FM. Check us out on Instagram at Kyrie FM and follow us on Twitter at Kyrie FM Dominica. Visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch up on any newscasts you may have missed. That's all for today's news. On behalf of the entire production team and Vanessa Bruno, Thank you for watching.